Today we're going to be unboxing the Motorola Moto G. Now the Moto G is Motorola's latest smartphone and the greatest amount of buzz about this phone hasn't been about its performance or its screen quality but rather about its price tag. Now the GSM models of this phone are being sold in the US for $179 off contract and that's a pretty attractive price considering the phone's specifications. Now there's also a CDMA version which is supposed to be on the market shortly. Now we'll be taking a much closer look at the Moto G in our full review so please subscribe to stay tuned for that review. Right from the time you see the box, you can tell that Motorola was trying to keep this phone very cost effective. The box is extremely simple, there's very little printing or additional stuff. It's overall a very simple box. So let's go ahead and open it up. All there is is this little flap here. It opens up and there's the device. Now you can just slide the device out. Now we'll set this up in a minute. We're going to set it aside for now. And on the inside there's this tray. I'm going to pull that up. So the first thing under that tray is a micro USB to USB connector cable and at the bottom of the box you have some manuals and some documentation. Now that is all you get with the Moto G. Now you probably noticed Motorola as part of their cost cutting measure excluded the USB power brick that usually comes with this micro USB to USB cable. Now you can obviously charge this phone with your laptop or with another charger brick that you might have. However this might be a problem for first time smartphone buyers who don't have a power brick already or don't have access to a laptop to charge this device. It's kind of a notable omission. Now before we set the phone up let's take this transparent plastic film off the phone. Okay, and in order to do that, what you need to do is peel at this edge here, and this film comes off. And under that film is a four and a half inch screen and a soft touch rubberized back. Now we'll talk about this phone in detail when we do the review, so stay tuned for that. But let's go ahead and set the phone up. Okay, so the power button on the phone is on this side here and I'm gonna power it up. There you go, it powers up. Okay, it's going through a basic booting routine with some lovely Motorola art. The next question seems to be, what language would you like to select? I'll select English and hit start. And then the next question seems to be some privacy regulations and rules, and I'm gonna hit accept and continue. And then it asks me if I have a Google account and I'm going to say no. And then it asks me if I'd like to make it Google. Now at this point you could always either sign up for a Google account or you could log in with your existing account. I'm not going to do either right now. I'm just going to hit not now. And then it says you're all set. The Moto G is ready to use. And I'm going to say maybe later because I don't want to migrate any of my other information to this phone just yet. And there you go. The phone is pretty much set up. And you can see that familiar Android interface with all the apps in the app drawer. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to be doing a very thorough test of this phone in our full review, so please stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to our channel and hit that like button.